Welcome back to Freight Waves Now and the second carrier update of the morning presented by Powerfleet. I'm Tony Mulvey, joined by Donnie Gilbert. Donnie, can us take a look at Reefer? Obviously, the holidays impacting it, but seeing some yeah. good things. So the blue line, this is our volumes. And remember, Ebenezer, remember, you're going to see our volumes falling off right now for the next seven days. That's because we use a seven-day rolling average. So when you see this volume just tank right here on reefers, don't get upset. Don't get worried. That's that's going to be that way for, for the next seven days. Now, what happens in between this down line and this up line that's coming up? Kind of keep an eye on that. Are they going up or going down? You'll kind of attach that to kind of see what's going on in the middle. But right now, reefer is jumped back up just right above 9%. Now, of course, they typically kind of say the, the peak holiday for, for uh, produce season is about the 4th of July, the week after. So we're kind of in right now that the end, the end of the peak. Uh, so uh, they're, uh, of course, last year they were much, much higher, but uh, we did get a good response for finishing up the end of the month considering where we were and which direction we were going. So we've seen it pick back up here. What's gonna happen over the next uh, few months is gonna be uh, still gonna be pretty difficult even in the reefer market as well. Yeah, I mean, I think with the positive sign, right? We, you look back here on the 14th of June, right? Under seven and a quarter, back above nine. I mean, that movement upward is what we wanted to see, right? We wanted to see it on the overall market, not just reefer or just van or anything like that. Let's pop into this next chart here and let me show you. Uh, <clears throat> it's still a tough market. Yeah. Week to week changes. You see a lot of these are really in your major, major metro areas. You see Atlanta still here picking up. Volumes are huge here in Atlanta. You see some to the southeast where, you know, down here in, in, in South Georgia, northern Florida. Uh, but volumes are extremely low. The major volume markets here you see, those are actually picking up. And in the rural area, the rural markets out here, those are actually going down. So the reefer market overall really is still weakening. There's just a few spots in here that are really picking up that are kind of keeping these numbers headed in that direction. So we got to keep an eye on that. Jump over here to the last chart that I have for this for this section here. These are the rejection rates with the volumes laid on top of those. And you see, you know, you still have uh, Twin Falls, Idaho out there. Uh, the West Coast here, of course, you know, we got the AV5 kicking in. Uh, it already kicked in, but, you know, here you have seven days for the compliance of it. We'll see how that affects those markets for both drive-in and reefer on the West Coast. <clears throat> the poultry belt up here in the north northern area, uh, Nebraska, Iowa, really strong rejection rates, but low volumes. But down here, again, Atlanta, um, Harrisburg, Indianapolis, Chicago, those are all some really pretty strong markets where these carriers want to probably send their trucks to because now it's going to be more important almost just to keep those trucks rolling than it may be the price. Yeah, I think that last map, the one where we saw that tightening down here, but really a lot of red up there, it's important to look at them every week because, I mean, you look at it a week ago, it was all blue in that same area. So you're seeing the changes of this volatile softening market. Yeah, and as these markets start to change, if you don't pay attention to those changes, you might be sending your trucks in the wrong direction. Perfect, well, awesome. Thank you so much for this update, Donnie. We'll be sure to check in with you a little later. Right now, right now toss it over to Sydney and uh, Michael.